So something that came to me recently, because um, I've been studying the, partially studying the nodes of the other planets, because you know we have the lunar nodes, but wondering, because we're looking at it from the point of view of Earth, right? We're here on Earth and it, you know, what symbolism means and all that stuff. But if, let's say, we lived in, let's say, Jupiter, and apparently Jupiter has how many moons? According to this one, Jupiter has 67 moons. So does that mean that each moon would have its own lunar node? Like it's, but multiple ones? Because you're talking about the moon itself. So I don't know, I've always kind of wondered about that. Just something speculative. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like it's always been there for me. Like I do have Sedna opposite, I believe, my Mercury. Uh, Mercury-Uranus conjunction. Either way, just a thought, just wondering. Um, this video is just completely like just speculating what would happen. I don't know much about the nodes of like the other planets, so but it, it it it's you could say that it kind of you look at its darker side, you look at its sort of like its meaning, its path, the path that you're in. But the moon is always relative to people, so emotions, right? So it makes sense to why it's connected to like soul journey. But if we're talking about nodes as if they were referring to like journeys then that means the nodes represent themselves they represent a journey of something so in this case for the moon it's the journey of the soul but if let's say we're talking at the nodes of let's say venus the nodes are uh, uh, the journey of pleasure the journey of sensuality the journey of enjoying simple things, a journey of self-worth. Um, so it may kind of make sense, but it's not necessarily... I would say if it's the other personal planets, especially like Mercury, Venus, Mars, um, not sure about the Sun, um, then you would look at as though it's the journey of like just one lifetime. Because the moon represents the soul, meaning like it's a long, you know, it's a lifetime sort of thing. It's more than life, it's more multiple lifetimes. Whereas the other ones are kind of more like, in a, it's a little more simplistic. I don't know if that makes sense. But once we go into the social or transpersonal planets, I would say those have a lot to do probably with relationships, or rather because they are social. Kind of more like in maybe the node would represent the journey between maybe growth between individuals, and then you were talking. Then were, if you would, if we look, if we were to look into the the um, the outer planets, the, the so I'm not really. <laughs> Mind is elsewhere. The brain is like digesting right now. Um, like for example, like Pluto, then that means the nodes would probably be journey of not only kind of more deeper soul, but more like the instinct. But how that ties in with generations. So it's more of a collective level for sure. Absolutely, yeah, ob obviously. But at the same time, how we grow through the collective. But it's still not necessarily like soul level, like it's not a personal thing, it's more of a collective thing. So you can say that maybe Pluto might be the collective soul. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> but that's an example. Collective soul and Neptune would be probably the collective. Uh, collective transcendence, right? Because Pluto, Pluto is, collect, is collective, it's about regeneration. Uh, Neptune is about transcendence, Uranus is about transformation. So that makes sense that all th those three at least are 
about, yes, they're generational, but it's more about the journey to how we work together. If they are high vibrations of the other personal planets, like Uranus is Mercury, Neptune is Venus, and Pluto is Mars, then therefore one is more personal and the other one is definitely more it's one is individual, one is collective, but they're both kind of the same. It's still it's still kind of you could say locked into one sort of this is not necessarily one lifetime, but sort of. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, it's just a speculative speculative video. Um I don't know what you guys think. <laughs> it just came to mind today. Anyways, thanks for listening. <laughs>